these deck lists just keep on building up. What is up, guys? I'm Gordy. We're going to be covering four deck lists today. We have quite a lot of information still kind of floating around right now coming out of the World Championship event for the stores that played the TCG list. So we're trying to cover as much as we can. So the first list we have here is Post Dane Madolche being piloted by Joseph Williams. Now, one thing I want to point out about this. Kudos to you, Madolche. I am extremely happy to see that you got the chance to do something, and it warms my heart because this deck is a fan favorite across the board for all players, and getting the chance to really see Madolche kind of step up, good job. Also, Herald of the Orange Light, by the way, uh, as a hand trap in this deck, that's spicy. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom, enjoy a spring. Uh, we have triple copies of Dino Russell Prank Tops, because we're going second deck. Why would we not want the best cards in our deck? One copy of Doggeron, one copy of Gadarla, one copy of the Gamma Seal to Sea Turtle Kaiju, triple copies of Herald of the Orange Light. This is this is spicy, by the way. I do like this. We have triple copies of Lone Fire Blossom by K. Angeli. Triple copies of Hoot Cake. This is also pretty interesting uh, to see maximum copies of this. Triple copies of Magellane. Two copies of the Messenger Lotto. Triple copies of Pudding Susior. The one copy of the Pudding Sess, Dying Pudding. And we have triple copies of Call by the Grave, one Rip to Kaiju Slumber, two Chateau, one Ticket, one Monster Reborn, one Twin Twisters, Traps, we have two Evenly, and triple Imperm. Wrapping this up, no extravagance in the main deck, which honestly catches me off guard a little bit. I do like what this... I, conceptually, this is interesting. Down here in the extra deck, we have two copies of Fresh Shift Start, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, and the one Boral Ode. Triple copies of the Glass Foley, uh, two copies of T.R. Misu, two copies of Shock Lala Mode, one of Best Dweller, the one Starving Venom, and the one Salaman Great Valley Chimera. Uh, one thing that Joseph did say he would change, though, was cut a Dweller and put in the Digusto Emerald. Um, side deck here, we have Triple Lancia, two copies of Ghost Ogre, two Super Poly, two Twin Twister, one Evenly, three Red Reboot, and two Unending Nightmare. So... Outside of wanting to play the one copy of Digusto Emerald, I think that this is pretty interesting in terms of deck construction. Like I said, No Extravagance definitely pokes me as a very interesting statement for what this deck can still do, especially in this format going forward. Now, this has been a big one. Um, we got Andre Cirsti, Cirs, yeah, C I R S T E A. We got his Trickstar list. He sent this in. He's like, hey, Robbie, you know, check this out. Um, I've been doing relatively well with this over the past weekend. I topped my World Championship event. I'm like, hmm, Trickstar. All right, so you, you've got one copy of Light Stage. So how does the deck evolve? Well, this is how we've done it. We've kind of become a stun deck at this point. So this is Andre's our top Trickstar deck list. Actually, this is... Really phenomenal to see. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of Candina, two copies of Corobine, one Lily Bell, and only two copies of Licorice. I think a lot of players are going to have a little bit of an issue only seeing two copies of this card, but I understand. And we have triple copies of Instant Fusion, being able to make Thousand Ice or Spot Removal, or, you know, Panzer Dragon to make Polites is pretty good. And then, of course, the card that just wins your games, Mystic Mine. Sully burn your opponent to death while you sit on a Mystic Mine. Hmm. Triple copies of Extravagance. You do care about your extra deck, but not really. It's not like you don't have ways to play around it. Also, resource management. Triple copies of Super Polymerization. Yeah, every stun deck is playing this as format. One Terraforming and the one copy of Light Stage. Now, for the Trap Board. Triple copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device. Spot Removal, so I don't have to deal with anything that my opponent's trying to put on the board. We have two copies of Heavy Storm Duster. One Metaverse, Triple Solemn Judgment, Triple Solemn Strike, and One Solemn Warning. Oof. Then we have Triple Copies of Trap Trick, Triple Copies of Trickstar Reincarnation, and one copy of the Heavy Storm Duster. Down here in the extract we have Triple Polites, one Space Insulator, one Link Rebo, one Link Spidey, one Phoenix, one Boral Sword, two copies of Thousand Eyes Restrict, one Starving Venom, one Salaman Great Vile Chimera, one Dragus to Polly, and the two copies of Mr. Panzer Dragon. And then the side deck here, we have Triple Nomi, Triple Copies of Gamma, one Driver, two MST, Triple Anti-Spell Fragrance, one in Pre-Order, and the two copies of the Hot Tech card right now. 
Two mind control. Spot removal, by the way. Take anything that your opponent's put on the field as a threat. Bring it on over. Honestly, Trickstar players, I think this is a fresh bit of breath for you guys. I think, honestly, going forward, this is probably something that you should look at in terms of list adaptability. And maybe maybe not play Triple Licorice. Hmm. Moving along here. This is Brandon Dennis's ABC deck list. Now, I believe he got second place at his w or his event this weekend. This is basically blind going second ABC. And to all of my knowledge, I haven't seen too much ABC floating around right now in the general community. I do think that... Seeing a deck like this is interesting. This does push a lot of the, the norm that we've seen lately. So, here's an interesting concept. Yeah, also with the Sky Striker engine. So, we have two copies of A Assault Core, triple copies of B Buster Drake, and two copies of the C Crush Wyvern. You can definitely tell, and we've seen this with a lot of lists right now, especially, you know, things like A and C, while they're good, they don't do a lot to progress game state. You're just kind of there to see them as combo pieces 95% of the time. It's not like you can't equip them anyway. We have triple copies of Ash. We have the one gold gadget and the one silver gadget. Okay. Two Ghost Ogre, one Effect Failure. Ooh. Then we have one copy of the Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. Okay. We have one copy of Terraforming, triple Union Hanger, two copies of Twin Twisters, triple Engage, one Hornet Drones, one Jamming Waves, one Widow Anchor, one copy of Afterburners, triple Forbidden Chalice. Ooh, hey, hey, I'm looking at you, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Get negated, boy. Two copies of Pot of Desires, two copies of Mind Control, one copy of Foolish Barrel, one Upstart Goblin, and triple copies of Evenly Matched. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Claran Rushka, one Kagari, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Underclock Taker, one Genius, one Platinum Gadget, one Decode Talker, one Topological Bomber, one Boral Sword Boy, one Dweller, and one Sugiyome. And then triple copies of ABC Dragon Turd. Side deck, triple Lancia, triple anti-spell fragrance. One skill drain. Only two draw and lockbird, by the way. Triple red reboot. Triple copies of Dark Hole. You don't feel so bad about destroying your pieces because it's not like you can't load them back up to feed into the Dragon Buster. Because Dragon Buster is free. It's so good. So, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I'm surprised to see going second ABC. Uh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm really not. Uh, there's just kind of something about this deck's validity. Um, though, seeing Terraforming at 1, honestly, I, I thought would have hurt this deck a lot. But players are still playing it. And honestly, now that Sky Striker stuff's gotten a lot cheaper, I expect to continue to see players testing things like this. Especially going forward. So, this is Brandon Dennis's list for ABC. And the last up here, I have Eric Buys Sky Striker deck. Finishing 401, winning his event, actually. Uh, actually, I believe it was top four. Correction there. I just read my notes. So, going second, Sky Striker. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joyce Springham. Two copies of Prankatops Daddy. Two copies of Ghost Ogie. Triple copies of Sky Striker Ace Ray. Two Called by the Grave. Two Foolish Barrel Goods. One Metal Foes Fusion. One Mystic Mine. One MST. One Rota. One Set Rotation. Two copies of Area Zero, one Afterburners, one Jamming Waves, the one Eagle Booster, the one Hornet Drones, and the one Shark Cannon, triple Widow Anki, one copy of Multi Roll, one Hercules Base, triple Engage, one Terraforming, one Twin Twister, one Upstart, triple Evenly Matched, and triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. Seeing one and one and one, it's pretty cute actually. I like that a lot. That's pretty interesting. Now, we have one Topological Bomber Dragon, triple copies of Shizuku, two copies of Kaina, of course, one Kagari, triple Hayate, one Nin Nin, one copy of the Avermax, one Phoenix, one Ablaze, and the one copy of Boral Sword. Hmm, a lot of stuff kind of packed in here. No Unicorn in the extra deck, by the way. We have one Gamma Seal, triple Sphere Mode, one Limited Removal, two Mind Control, two Shared Ride, two copies of Summon Limit, two There Can Only Be One, and two copies of Typhoon. Wrapping up Mr. Eric By's list. Going second, Sky Striker's been having a lot of success. I can tell you guys that firsthand right now. Um, I do think that going first is probably going to be the more popular build across the board for all variants. But nonetheless, to see all of these having success is looking pretty good. 
so guys, what do you think about all of these lists? Joseph, Andre, Brandon, and Eric, thank you for submitting your decks. I hope that those of you that watch these videos will take something from this as the metagame begins to progress. All right, guys, catch you on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle and sing all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.